Hey everyone, and we're here at Windows Report and today is a special day because it's Update Tuesday. So in this video I will present you what's new in the KB5011493 OS version update for Windows 11. But honestly, there's not so many things that are new and most of the features are similar with the update KB5010414. So let's just update our Windows 11 PC. Press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on Windows Update on the left pane. Now on the right side, just click on the blue check for updates button and Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your PC. And as you can see, the KB5011493 is already downloaded. All you have to do is simply wait until this will download and then install it. And the last thing you have to do is restart your PC for the changes to take place. So here we are, we just restarted our PC after installing the latest updates and now we just want to make sure that we have them fine on our PC. So in order to check these updates, press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure that system is selected on the left pane. Now on the right side of the window, scroll down until you find the about section and click on it. In here, under Windows specifications, you can check the OS build. So if it's 22,556, that means you have the latest update, which is KB5011493. Now, let's move on to a discussion about the latest features on this new update. And as you can see, there's already one change that's visual on the desktop. And that's the widgets icon. The widgets icon is now located on the left side of the taskbar if, of course, the taskbar is aligned to the center. So let's see how it acts. If you hover over this icon on the left side, you'll see that the widgets panel will activate. At the moment, I'm not signed in, but usually the widgets will show you weather information, news and other pieces of information. So if you hover off of it, you'll see that it will automatically disappear. I think that's super simple and it saves a lot of clicks. So just hover on it and it shows up, hover off of it and it disappears. And now let's just move on to Microsoft Edge, which has one new feature and two fixes implemented with this new update. This new update provides the ability to share cookies between Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode and Microsoft Edge, which I think is super super nice for certain workflows, because there are websites that can be accessed in the Internet Explorer mode and share the same cookies. But now let's just move to the Internet Explorer mode, so let's just type in a website that opens in that mode. There's two important fixes that took place in this mode. An issue that affected dialog boxes in Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode was fixed, so now you have no problems with that anymore. And another important one that happened to me as well, when I was pressing F1 on my keyboard, the Internet Explorer mode stopped working, so everything was shutting down. But now, as you can see, it's working properly, so every time I press F1, I am taken to the Microsoft support page. I think that's super cool and I hope it will stay forever like this. Now moving on to the next super feature, spot the difference. As you can see, I'm not on my primary monitor. And I think this is a super cool feature. Microsoft now added the clock and date to the taskbars of other monitors when you connect other monitors to your device. I think that's super cool and as you can see right now I'm on my second monitor and I have the date and time grayed out. Because basically I can't modify anything but I can just see them. And of course, you can see that there's no speaker or Wi-Fi icon on here. So yeah, I think that's super helpful for some certain workflows because sometimes you're using a monitor and you just want to see the date and time. And I think it's a nice addition, which is a game changer in some ways. So now the list of fixes is getting smaller and most of them are not so significant. So in short, that's it. Basically, these fixes are the most notable that come with this update. The list is of course bigger, so feel free to check them out in the link that I posted in the description below. Until next week, enjoy this new update. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.